Assalamualaikum and hi, welcome back. We are going to look at the third learning objective in the subtopic 5.2 which is to state and to apply the work energy theorem. So, work energy theorem is such that the work done by the net force on a body is going to be equal to the change in the body's total energy. So, mathematically, we have a W net which is the work done by the net force on a body, we equate it to K final minus K initial, which is the change in the kinetic energy. So basically, work energy theorem ini, dia kaitkan the total work done, the total work by all the forces acting on the body to the change in the kinetic energy. As we're talking about change in the kinetic energy, it becomes K final minus K initial, which indicates that we're going to have different kinetic energy at two different positions, which is the initial position and final position. This is due to that the velocity at final position does not equal to the velocity at the initial position. So this is our work energy theorem. How did we come up with this equation? Ataupun the derivation of this equation is such that you have a box initially moving with velocity u under the influence of force f here has been displaced by s to another point let's say point 2 here as it reaches point 2 here the object now have a new velocity of v here so this is our final position and this is the initial position so according to our equation for w the total work done, remember we studied in our previous video, the total work done is either you sum all the work, work 1 plus work 2, all the works due to the forces acting on the body, ataupun you simply take F net S, okay, where according to Newton's second law, F is equals to MA. So your F net here, we are going to substitute with M A S. So, acceleration can be found or can be derived by using the kinematics equation from chapter 2. Alright, so we have V square is equals to U square plus 2 A S. This is chapter 2's kinematic equation. Where you rearrange this, you're going to get your acceleration such that V square minus U square over 2 S. So now you're going to substitute this into your equation of F is equals to M V square minus U square over 2 S. I'll have 1 over 2 M V square S minus 1 over 2 M U square S. Alright, I'm going to factorize this S. I'm going to factorize this S here. 1 over 2 M V square minus 1 over 2 M u square and then i'm going to bring this s to the left here i will end up with f s is equals to 1 over 2 m v square minus 1 over 2 m u square as you can see f s adalah work done half m v square minus half m u square adalah k final minus k initial which leads us to the work energy theorem w net is equals to delta k Derivation ni, you don't have to know lah. Tak perlu tahu pun. Cuma Miss nak tunjuk supaya kita lebih faham. But you must understand that what is work energy theorem adalah you are relating the total work with the change in the 